Hello everyone. Today, I will show you the three wiring methods of the KGF series Kalam counter. First of all, I will show you the two wire self-powered wiring method. Before wiring, we must first check whether the two wire three wire power supply selector switch at the bottom of the measurement module is set to 2W. Connect the display module and the measurement module through the data cable and connect the measurement module and the sampler through the 4P cable. After the products are connected to each other, connect the positive pole of the power supply terminal of the measurement module to the positive pole of the battery, and the positive pole of the load and the positive pole of the charger are also connected to the positive pole of the battery. After the positive wire is connected, let's connect the negative pole. There is a place marked GND. Connect the negative pole of the battery to GND. The negative pole of the load and the negative pole of the charger are connected to the other end of the sampler. Then we connect the temperature sensor. After connecting, you can view the current on the display module ambient temperature. So far, the entire two-wire system's own power supply wiring has been completed. Let's review. First, connect the positive pole of the load the positive pole of the charger, and the positive pole of the power supply terminal of the measurement module to the positive pole of the battery, and then connect the negative pole of the battery to the GND port of the sampler, and the negative pole of the load and the negative pole of the charger. Connect to the other port of the sampler, so that the two-wire self-powered connection is completed. Let's take a look at the state of the product during normal operation which is the state when the battery is discharged. Next, I will show you the three-wire external power supply wiring method. Before wiring, we need to turn the two-wire three-wire power supply selector switch at the bottom of the measurement module to 3W. Connect the positive pole of the external power supply to the power supply terminal VEXD of the measurement module and the negative pole to GND. The voltage range of the external power supply is 10 to 80 V. After the external power supply is turned on, the indicator light of the measurement module flashes. The screen of the display module lights up, and the product has started to work. Then we connect the VSNS of the power supply terminal of the measurement module to the positive pole of the battery. The positive pole of the load and the positive pole of the charger are also connected to the positive pole of the battery. After connecting the positive pole, then connect the negative pole, and connect the negative pole of the battery to the GND port of the sampler. After connecting, we can see the measured battery voltage value in the display module. The negative pole of the load and the negative pole of the charger are connected to the other end of the sampler. Note that the negative pole of the battery needs to be connected to the GND port of the sampler. So far, the entire three-wire external power supply wiring has been completed. Let's check whether the wiring is correct, so that the battery supplies power to the load, and a discharge current of 1A can be seen on the display module. Let's review again. The power supply terminal VEXD of the measurement module is connected to the positive pole of the external power supply. GND is connected to the negative pole of the external power supply. VSNS is connected to the positive pole of the battery, and the positive pole of the load and the positive pole of the charger are also connected to the positive pole of the battery. The sampler has a GND terminal. Connect the negative pole of the battery, and connect the negative pole of the load and the negative pole of the charger to the other end. We will also connect the temperature sensor. You can view the current ambient temperature on the display module. This completes the three-wire external power supply wiring. Finally, I will show you the three-wire external power supply connected to the relay wiring method. Before wiring, we need to turn the two-wire three-wire power supply selector switch at the bottom of the measurement module to 3W. Connect the display module and the measurement module through the data cable, and connect the measurement module and the sampler through the 4P cable. The positive pole of the battery and the power supply terminal VSNS of the measurement module are connected to one end of the relay contact pin. 
The positive pole of the load and the positive pole of the charger are both connected to the other end of the relay contact pin. The relay acts as a switch in the middle. The red wire of the relay output control terminal VEXD is connected to the positive pole of the external power supply. The black wire of the relay output control terminal GND is connected to the negative pole of the external power supply. The yellow wire of the relay output control terminal out is connected to one end of the relay coil pin. And the positive pole of the external power supply is connected to the other of the relay coil. At one end. When the external power supply is turned on, the indicator of the measurement module flashes. The screen of the display module lights up. And the product has started to work. Connect the negative pole of the battery to the GND port of the sampler. The other end of the sampler is connected to the negative pole of the load and the negative pole of the charger. We can use the OK button to turn the relay on or off so that the three-wire external power supply connection is completed. Thank you all for watching.